Alright, hey, Con Man here. How's everybody doing? We are on the Heroes of the Storm PTR right now. It is Kel'Thuzad patch. Look at this. Maybe if it loads. There we go. We hide in the shadows. No longer. <laughs> uh, Let the carnage commence. I do like that. That's actually pretty neat. The the Dreadlord Jaina is, is pretty fancy. We're gonna we're gonna check out Kel'Thuzad uh, pretty soon. Let me readjust my mic here, make it a little bit closer to my face. Um, check out Kel'Thuzad pretty soon, but before we do that, we gotta play a couple of games and get some gems to buy Kel'Thuzad and check them out. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna play some of the new rework stuff. Chromie got reworked a little bit. Uh, Leoric got reworked. Jaina got some changes as well. So we'll we'll check them out. We so let's let's talk about this. This says 149 seconds. It queued up before in instantly last time. But anyway, so Chromie, Chromie got a rework. Her sandblast got changed, um, the damage was reduced straight away, the scaling was reduced, it now has a baseline quest. So you have to hit 80 heroes, which seems like a lot. The last game that I just played, I only got that up to like 45 or something. Um, so each hero, if you hit one hero, it counts for one, if you hit two people in a row, the second hero counts for two, so one, you know, you get three total. Um, and then each subsequent hero, I think after that, will count as two as long as you keep your chain going. Each each hero that you hit will increase the damage by five. That stacks pretty much indefinitely. I played with her on try mode and I hit complete quests and it gave me like 10,000 sacks and so I did like 10,000 damage, which was actually kind of funny. Um, if and if you complete the quest, which again, I think 80 is kind of a lot, um, then you get past in future me. Then you get what was formerly a level 20 talent, which is now baked into the quest uh, baseline if you complete it. Um, it leaves a little image, a shadow of Chromie, which does 40% damage, which doesn't really seem like all that much, but, you know, at that point, you've got your stack up pretty high, so, you know, you'll get some additional damage on that. And if you complete it, so she's got some new talents, and one of which is here, the level 11 talent. So instead of having the increased range, which actually, I think, hurts her kit a little bit by not having that increased range, now you get one called here and there, so you actually get the ability to swap positions uh, with Chromie. If you have completed that uh, that 80 shot quest. So what else do we get here that's different? See level one, uh, Piercing Sands, which allowed the, you know, the pass through is now all the way here in level 18 for Chromie, not 28, level 18. That's all the way over here. Level one, we get Mounting Sand, hitting three or more consecutive sand blasts without missing counts as three heroes. So you get one for the first, two for the second, three for the third, and then three for each subsequent shot that you hit in a row. I find it's difficult to do. Now maybe I just need to get good and be a better Chromie, but I'm, uh, I like to think that I'm a pretty solid Chromie, at least for my skill level. Uh, you know, I tried it once, and it I, it's tough. It's definitely tough unless the enemies are grouped up or you're really, really you're good at hitting, you know, three sandblasts in a row. It's 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 kind of tough. Um, level two, we have one here called Timely Surprise. I like this. Sandblast and Dragon's Beth cooldowns are reset when time trap is triggered. So, and if you ever played Chromie a lot, one of the big things that you would have is, you know. Somebody would be hit by your time trap, and then you'd be sitting there and you're like, well, there's nothing I can do because everything's on cooldown. Um, at least, you know, your Dragon's Breath would be. Now, if they trigger this, instantly resets on your cooldowns. Uh, so that is interesting. I, I'm going to take it for the sake of showing it off. I do still feel like I'm going to go with Bronze Talents um, overall at the end of the day, just to go with it. Um, there were a couple other uh, new talents in there that we'll talk about when we go through the game. So as you can see, we've got we've got a full stack team here. We've got Kel'Thuzad, we've got Leoric who was reworked, we've got Jaina who was reworked, we've got uh, Morales who was reworked. On the enemy team, they've got Jaina and Kel'Thuzad, so we, we've got a pretty good representation of what's going down on the PTR uh, right now. And it looks like we've got uh, we got a warrior, I guess. I guess they have two two warriors, one warrior. There we go. Kel'Thuzad seems pretty powerful. He's he's gonna scale up. I'm I'm looking forward to getting my hands onto him. Um, I I picked Chromie first because Chromie's probably my my second favorite hero in the game after Alarak. So I play a lot of her, and uh, I think so. You know, other than the range, most of the talents that I normally pick aren't going to be affected too much. But I do want to try out the different playstyle. I'm curious to see how this how the Sandblast build um, can can stack up overall. And I'm, and I'm curious if uh, taking the taking the reset on the time trap is going to make a difference in terms of building up my stacks, as opposed to Bronze Talons, which I really do like Bronze Talons. Like Bronze Talons is great against Tracer, 
um, Tracer dives in on you even if you miss your shot because she's hard to hit then you can you know fire off a shot for you know three four hundred damage with bronze talons and that's gonna give her pause because that's gonna be a good chunk of her health so she might you know want to back off um, yeah we'll see, see how it goes and this is the PTR mind you so who knows <laughs> who knows what kind of game that we're gonna end up with here The, uh, the last game that I was just in, I think I said I got my, my stacks up to 40, 40 or so, 45, I forget exactly what it was off the top of my head. Um, it was in Warhead Junction, so it was a pretty big map, everything was spread out. Might be a little bit easier here on Braxis. Braxis is typically a good chromey map with the control points, you, you can kind of fire discriminately into the control points and, and hit, you know, get some pings on people. Um, the range might hurt a little bit, I'm a little disappointed in that. But the advantage is, uh, since I can't pick the range, I do have the option to pick to pick the stasis. And the stasis is nice. It's good and long, keeps you around for a while. Or there is, I guess, bye-bye as well if you just really want to troll your whole team. So here we go. So we already lost uh, we lost our morale. So we lost our healer. Here we go. So we're going to take Mounting Sand to start with. Time Walker's pursuit is is still the same. Um, I think I th I think unless you're really really good at hitting your shots, uh, I think Time Walker's pursuit is, is still going to be a really solid talent and way to go. But for the sake of showing this off, we're going to pick this here. So in order for, in order for this to even get to get value, I need to hit three three sand blasts in a row. So our Morales is apparently going to solo the top lane, so that's great. I do like the PTR, this is fantastic. Okay, here she comes. She's coming down. Somebody should go top, and it should not be Chromie. It should probably be Leoric, I guess. But PTR, again, so whatever, who cares. Alright, here's a shot. And there's one. See, there's one. You heard the little ding. I'm not going to get one there. Oh, I did. See, now I got two. And I did get the third in a row. Okay, so that's a pretty solid start. I'm going to miss that. Nope, I did. Somebody walked into it. Thanks very much, guys. And there we go. Now I missed. So that's, that's a good start. So that's nine stacks right off the top. And you saw somebody... There we go. There's a ding. You saw somebody get hit up against the uh, the glass there, so to speak. Do you want to stay away from Garrosh? Oh, that's going to hurt. Dunks on people. Yep. He really couldn't do anything about that. Oh, that's all of the team. Whoops. Face check the crap out of that bush. There's a ding. Uh, miss that. So, what I'm what I'm finding is, I, I think in order to play... Oh, shoot. I think in order to play this build... I'm dead. Yeah, that's my fault. Talking too much, not paying attention to Garrosh. Um, in order to play this build, I, I would need to personally adjust my playstyle with Chromie, uh, because fire, once you hit that first ding, you really want to make sure that you can nail the, the subsequent ones. You know, just kind of firing off indiscriminately a little bit is, is you know, you're going to blow your, your hit combo. Now, I died and fortunately kept my hit combo, but I'm only at 12. Let's see how we do. I did pick up the talent to reset my cooldowns when uh, my time trap is triggered. So we're going to see what we can get out of that. There we go, there's two. Somebody is going to get hit and we're going to fire into that. And there's one. I think I might... Nope. Just missed. See? It snuck through. We're just going to put that here. There's a tracer. Watch out for her. There you go. See now... Unfortunately, I got stunned into that. Excellent healing, friend. Ooh, that corpse make for good Very good. Ease. Kill on the Uther, although she's going to pay the price for it. Good night. This is where I really want to time, you know, hit somebody with a time trap, or I don't have bronze talent, so I can't do anything with that. Well, shoot. I'm gonna come up here. I'm probably gonna get myself killed for this. Yep. Oh, I did hit that. That's nice. Let's not walk directly into the bomb. How's that sound? Good, good game. 
Good, good, good. Delicious chaos. Choose a talent. All right. We are... I don't even know what we're going to do here. Let's do this. Problem is, I'm low on mana since I didn't take uh, Time Walker's Pursuit. That's... he juked out of that, so that's good on him. There's really not much that I can do here because I don't have any backup. Or mana, for that matter. I'm gonna stay here and just cap this off, and I'm gonna run away because because there's Tracer and I have no backup. Come on, guys. Somebody stand on the stupid thing. Ah, oh, it's right there. There you go. How's this going? 26 seconds. Not so great. Sorry about this. Right. I will return. Gonna go over here. I have no mana though, so I'm gonna run into some problems. Why don't you hit this? Hit this. Hit this. Hit the thing. Hit the thing. That was good work on Tracer. Ran right past the time trap. Saw where it was. Juked it. Uh, the rest of my team was nowhere to be found. Kel'Thuzad is up on the top. The orc is dead. Jaina was her thing or coming back or whatever she was doing. Yeah, so you'll notice now, after that good start where I got 12 stacks right away, I'm only at 21. I mean, Tracer is stupid hard to hit uh, when it comes to Sandblasts. And I haven't done the best with the other shots because I really haven't been able to, you know, really uh, line them up, which makes it difficult. I don't think I'm going to get 80 here either, but we'll talk about it. There we go, there's a shot. Let's see if I can land that on someone. Nope. Just some... Hello! Oh shit. And I'm gonna get killed here because of this. Nope, I'm not. Just barely made it. Alright. So there's a the quest. Look at the UI. We got a UI uh, adjustment where you can see when people complete the quest. I do like that a lot. You can tell when somebody's got their quest completed, when somebody gets a power spike, maybe you need to be a little more um, cognizant of them. There you go, there's a good shot on Garrosh. A couple of dings there. Got the kill, very nice. I like the stun there from KT. Uh, I'm gonna take Temporal Loop, because it seems fun. I don't really, I can't do anything here. What's going on? I'm just gonna walk up here. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna get killed! I, I got miss I misplayed that completely. I should have ran ran to the core much much more quickly uh, than I did. I was hoping this would shoot her, but there was Zerg there, and so there we go. So I'm getting outplayed by Tracer pretty badly. So boo on me. This is not the build that I would normally pick uh, when I'm up against Tracer. <laughs> so I will I will keep that uh, in mind. Let's head out over here. Burn, baby, burn. We do need to get 10. I mean, I've got my ult, but but the enemy team already uh, has theirs. And I only get mine because it's early. So... Hopefully we get... There we go. There's a ding there. There's a tracer who's going to walk into that. The problem is, like, I really need to run away. I can't, er, okay, good. Can't really do much here against this group of people. We don't have the CC. Uh, our Leoric is still top lane, so he's the only warrior. Not that he's, like, a main tank anyway, but, uh, he's the only warrior that we've got. Oh, that's no bueno. Let's 
So that was... Uh, I don't know if you saw those spikes. That was Kaeltuzad's Kael ult. So Jaina got a quest completed, and she gets some sand on her face. Time to take things in my own hands. What I'd like to do is maybe get somebody low and get them... Ugh. There we go. Make for oh. good This. That was somebody's ult. I didn't see which one it was, and now I have no mana. So this is not so good for me. That one was on a killing spree. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna get myself killed. Yep. Let's come over here. We're gonna stasis for a little while. Hopefully our team can do something, or, or maybe heal me. Maybe heal me. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm gonna run away now. Hopefully they won't find me. I'm gonna have to hearth and go back to defend the Zerg anyway. That was just silly. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. God damn it. Get the freak out of here, Uther. Jesus Christ. <sighs> it was gonna be game. That was a curb stomp there, looks like. Uh... <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, I don't. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, somebody's just talking smack. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, report that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyway, so let's talk about uh, some of the talents and and finish off what's new about Chromie. And I'll, I'll give you my thoughts at least. Uh, you are a jerk. Okay, so so I went mounting sand level one. So hitting three or more consecutive sand blasts without missing cap. So this is this is tough. Um, this was not necessarily the group to do this on. You know, Tracer obviously is going to run interference, and she's hard to hit. Um, Uther maybe. Uther and Garrosh maybe. I don't know how Kale the Zud stacks up yet before he can do anything. I don't think Kale really did a lot of damage. I was getting killed by Tracer the entire time. Um, you know, this this probably isn't the best comp for Chromie just because of that high mobility, hard to hit sand blasts, not a lot of CC on the team either. Uh, to line up the shots, you're really going to need some CC to line some of this stuff up. You didn't really have it here, so not the best, you know. In, in a real match, I wouldn't have chosen this, but that's the idea behind it. Uh, I think I ended up, let's look at the, so I guess the talents, I guess on the UI screen, it's supposed to show your quest talents. I guess at the end game, it doesn't do it. I had like, what, another 40 or something into that, into that quest. Uh, I, I don't, you know, unless you're really good, unless you were on point, absolutely on point, I don't see... I don't see anybody getting 80 very easily. Like I, I don't see this as a I don't see this as a quest that's going to be completed um, 
very quickly. So I went level 4 Timely Surprise, Sandblast and Dragon's Breath cooldowns. It's it's not a bad talent. If this was on a different tier, I might consider it. I, I do like the idea of having your you know your resets. Somebody hits Sandblast or somebody hits Time Trap, you can immediately turn and unload on them and you know drop Sandblast on their head. As well as Dragon's Breath. You know, just having the reset in general for Dragon's Breath is pretty nice. Um, but you know, in this game, again, the problem was people would hit it and I was standing right next to the time trap and I really didn't have time to, like, get out of the way and, and unload. And I, I was more running away than I was setting things up. So, again, it's just a course of the game. I didn't play particularly well. Um, Chrono Sickness, this is a standard one. I think this is the same. I just took it because I wanted to time into the time trap. Uh, Temporal Loop, I picked... Um, just because I figured, you know, I can I can use it to you know to get a to get a ding on the dragon's breath or rather the sand blast. Excuse me. I took stasis. Um, at 16, I would have taken. Let's actually drop out here. We'll show you what the talents are. So at 11, I took time out. I took the stasis. Um, I wasn't going to complete this. Like here's another one. This is a level. I just want to I want to talk about this for a minute. This is a level 11 talent. So, you know, this assumes that you've completed the quest at level 11, which is not. I mean, you're supposed to get 80 stacks on that thing by level 11. Like, I don't... You know, maybe I'm just a shit chromie, and that uh, entirely possible. That's entirely what it is. I don't know. And, and the, on, the, on the live server, my chromie is like level 26, and I've got a pretty solid win rate with her, um, at least comparatively. I think I'm, you know, about even in terms of hot slogs. But I don't see this being... I don't see this happening. I don't see this being activated until way after the fact. Uh, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't like it. You know, I understand why people don't like the range. I under I could understand why they took the range away from her. It really, like, playing Azure was great. You could just sit in the back line and just go to town, and it was nuts. Um, so I, I get it. I don't, you know, as a Chromie player, I don't like it, but I get it. Um, this is just, it's a useless talent. I'm sorry. Like, I don't like it. I, I really just don't. I don't see this getting use. I don't see this being activated until way after the fact. Um, so you basically just, you get this talent early because you get it two levels early and then, you know, you don't, you don't do anything with it. It's like, what? Eh, I don't know. Um, so my go-to, my new go-to will probably be timeout, you know, maybe bye-bye. I don't, I'm not a fan of that one. I think this one's just a crappy talent too. I'll probably just end up taking timeout a lot. Um, so that's that. Uh, 14 here. Th these are all the same. You know, had I we got there, probably would have taken Shifting Sands, hit an enemy hero up to maximum 40%. Um, if you can land, again, you land your shots, you get the spell power, which is nice. You know, maybe this becomes better now. I'm not sure. 18, uh, the only thing that's different, actually, there are two things that's different. Piercing Sands, as I mentioned, has, has moved all the way to the end. Um, well, now Pierce, you don't do quest progress by piercing, but you, it is a, a full blast, like a full damage sand blast. So that could be interesting at level, you know, 18, level 20, you know, last talent. I, I was curious, I did, uh, like, stuck in a loop. They changed the way this functions. Temporal loop teleports the target a second time after the first. So, essentially, what'll happen is, it'll be temporal loop, you know, tick, 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 they get ported, and then they start to run away again, and then tick, 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 and then they get ported back, right, to where they were. Um, the last game that I played, not this one, which was crap, unfortunately, I didn't record that good one. Uh, we got a, a lot of kills off of that, because I would... I would unload, I would drop my combo on them the first time around, and then if I didn't kill them outright, they would they would come right back and my team would then go finish them off. So that was quite nice. It does leave a lot of time for a cleanse, though, or a stasis, or, or some heals or something. So that was interesting. Um, you know, that's pretty good. I, what, I, what I do like, though, what I, what I would consider with, if you're going to go Timely Surprise, is maybe take Ender Hall Anomaly, you get the Time Trap charges. My I haven't tried it in, in action. My assumption is, if you have three time traps anytime any one of those are triggered you're going to get a reset on your basic abilities so that could be something to do to fire off some extra shots overall i think this rework is a, is a nerf unless you were like a chromie god and you can be landing sandblast left and right i think this is a nerf for chromie um they they nerf your damage outright what what do they do uh, i'll put the patch notes in the description but i'm going to read them off right here let me find it here one second do 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 chromie sandblast scaling reduced from four percent to two percent per level so it does it scales up less damage damage reduced from 400 to 300 so not only is that a, a huge percentage <laughs> of the damage just straight away gone it scales less so it's not going to scale up quite as well uh, going forward so it really is going to rely on you to build up the stacks in order to get back that same kind of excuse me same kind of value um at least at least the way I personally pick, you know, I personally play Chromie. I, this is a nerf. 
Um, I don't like the change. I'm not a fan of it. I think 80 is entirely too much. I, I do have a feeling they're going to reduce this in a patch in the future and probably drop it down to 40 or 60. Um, I think 80 is way too high. I, I really, I think it's just silly. Uh, but that's just me. I, I'm curious. I would, I would like to do the math to see how many stacks you need to get before you're back to the old damage, like where, where that actually comes into play. Um, maybe that'll be something I think about in a later one. Uh, for me, I think my, my, my standard chromie build is probably going to be the same for the large part. Time Walker's Pursuit, you go there, you still get the 5% the spell power uh, once you complete the quest, and you basically have unlimited mana at this point. Um, level 2, level 2 Bronze Talons. I mean, this isn't Timely Surprise, but Bronze Talons, like that game, Bronze Talons would have been very good. It would have been very nice to have, be able to throw Bronze Talons attacks um, onto Tracer and chase her away. And, you know, again, I would have picked it in a regular game, but I wanted to, you know, to kind of check out the other stuff. Level 5, probably Dragon's Eye. I mean, Chrono Sickness can be nice. Dragon's Eye is really good if you're going to go for the combo. Uh, Temporal Loop, if you're going to go for the combo. Level 11, you know, unless by some miracle you're hitting shit left and right, you know, maybe here and there it could be interesting. I mean, it's on a 30 second cooldown. Not only, okay, think about this again. Not only is this, you need 80 goddamn stacks to get this up, but it's on a 30 second cooldown. I, I, I don't, I don't see it good. Probably timeout. Probably timeout, depending on what we've got. You know, you can, you can stasis through some Genji crap, um, whatever. And it's seven seconds, which is really nice. So, you know, assuming you're in the in the thick of things, hopefully your team is near you, you can stasis and, and do some stuff. So, probably timeout will be my new go-to here, since the range is no longer there. At 14, uh, Shifting Sands or Quantum Overdrive, depending on how I feel the game is going. Um, you know, I, I would pick Shifting Sands a lot when I had the range, because I could, I could hit people at range, and now that that's taken away from me, maybe I lean toward taking Quantum Overdrive more often than I did, just to have the spell power active on demand. Um, that could be, you know, that's, that's something that I would consider. I mean, this is 20% for 10 seconds, uh, so I need to have three hits in order to beat that. You know, it's, it's tough. I mean, you have, you don't have to hit them in a row, which is nice, so you don't have to get the stacks like that. So, that's a thing. And then 18, it kind of depends. Uh, Stuck in a Loop is okay. I don't think it's anything to write home about. It's not terrible. You know, it's what it is. Um, it's just extra CC on somebody, so that could be good if they don't have any ways around it. Problem is, if it just gives more time to stasis somebody or, or cleanse them or what have you. Um, you know, if you're landing your shots, Piercing Sands could be really good. Uh, and then Ander Hall Anomaly could be pretty solid as well. Of course, if you if you took the slow, that's the way to go, because you get no mana cost. And Yeah, thanks very much. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the new Chromie in a nutshell. Uh, not a huge fan of this thus far. I mean, we'll see how it plays out when it gets to live. I'll have to get some games under my belt on, on the live server where the matchmaking is a little more um, in line with things. Uh, but let me know what you think. I'm going to play a game here. I'm going to check out the new Leoric or Jaina. I'm not sure which one. One of the two. We'll figure it out. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in a bit.